As you can see, these are the essentials. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Haris Lim Dehdi. And before I get into this video, I want to break some very important news. I'm actually heading for Umrah in one week from now. Today is July 30th. And on August 6th, I'm heading out for Umrah, inshallah. Now, this video is dedicated to showing you what you need to pack for as an international traveler for Umrah. So I'm actually uh, on my way from home, I'm heading to the store, Costco. And, and in Costco, I'll show you guys uh, what items you need to purchase and also um, other items that you'll need to get from other stores so that you're well prepared for your journey ahead, inshallah. It is an unbelievably hot day today. Like you can see here, the temp shows 92, but trust me when I say it's over 100, it is super hot. It's good training to get used to the weather of Saudi Arabia. <laughs> So uh, we're heading to Costco first. I have a few items at home that I can also show that will be useful for packing. So I'll probably head home right after Costco and show those items that will be useful for packing for Umrah as well. Uh, your first item, this is a power hub, like a wireless charger type of thing. So this thing is super useful. Um, because it's very hot over there and your battery will run out really quick. Definitely recommend getting something like this. You can see it's on sale here. Okay, I went ahead and got everything that I was gonna buy and put into my cart. So uh, let me show you the first item. This is Bengay. This is a very like heavy duty cream. Um, it's kind of like icy hot. Uh, it's definitely very good. This is BioFreeze right here. And this is a, a lot like Bengay, except it's like more of a cooling sensation rather than heat. Uh, this next item right here is sunscreen. You can see it's like a value pack. It's SPF 50 plus. Definitely recommend this. I picked up a couple of pairs of socks because you'll need as many as you can get. I picked up some snacks and uh, packaged items that I'm going to be inshallah giving out. As you can see, uh, these are granola bars. Uh, I'll also be giving these out. I picked up vitamin C airborne right here. So you don't have to just get airborne, you can get vitamin C. <laughs> okay, so I got a lot of items from Costco, majority of things. I'm actually gonna have a list up and I'm gonna when I get home, I'm gonna kinda lay everything out and show you one by one. I wasn't able to find everything and I also have a lot of things at home so uh, I didn't purchase them here so uh, I'm on my way back home I'm gonna stop and get something to drink because it is super hot you can see it just went up to 94 now and heat index is over 105 it's crazy so I will see you guys at home okay I just got home <laughs> and um, I actually have a few of the items that I had at home prepared on a table so I'm gonna actually show you guys those items real quick this is a list that I call the essentials so once we're done with the essentials here uh, I'll go back and show the items I purchased from Costco and other stores and go through each one to tell you the importance of it and if you really need it or not okay as you can see these are the essentials so I'm gonna go through each one step by step and tell you why I think that these are essential and whether or not you need them or not. So to start off, we have Salon Pass right here. So what Salon Pass is, is a, um, it's a, like a pain relieving patch with like uh, some sort of medicine on there, like menthol and things like that. The reason why I say and strongly urge to, for you to get this is because when you're performing Umrah, you're, you're gonna be walking the whole time barefoot in Majlul Haram, right? And there is a very high chance if you're not somebody who is ultra, ultra fit, uh, you don't walk miles and miles every day, run miles and miles every day. There's a very high chance that the next day after you perform Umrah, your feet will be very sore. So these things are what keep you going. Because you don't want to be sitting in your hotel room the next day or two, for two days straight um, in pain and you can't go for a prayer or anything like that. So having these is a very essential thing. Uh, number two is eye drops. I get this brand in particular just because I've had LASIK done and uh, these work best for my eyes, but uh, any type of eye drops will suffice. It's a desert environment, so it's super crucial how the eyes will get dry a lot. Uh, number three, antibacterial hand sanitizer. So although COVID is not like crazy rampant nowadays, it's always good to have antibacterial hand sanitizer because there's people coming from all around the world and you're gonna be traveling on planes and things like that. So it's just best to be uh, sanitary. 
This is a must. I got the store brand because I couldn't, uh, they had run out of Tylenol. This one works really well for me. The headache. When, when you're traveling a lot, you tend to get headaches sometimes. Uh, you know, temperature changes, things like that. So super crucial to have that so that you don't miss out on any of your prayers. Uh, this hat right here, <laughs> it doesn't have to be this hat, but Koi uh, Bichali, you're just gonna need it because uh, it's gonna be really hot, super sunny during the day. So you're gonna need something to cover your head if you're a male. Uh, if you're a female, of course, you'll have uh, the hijab on. So hopefully it won't be as bad, but um, if you're able to definitely wear a hat. So right here, we have sunglasses. They're super crucial to have. I definitely recommend having them because it's a desert environment. Uh, next is, uh, this is a unique thing right here, Rescue Pastels. Uh, I don't know if any other brands make this, but uh, I highly recommend having this. The reason being, uh, you're gonna be traveling quite a lot and depending where you land in Saudi Arabia, like for example, if you're going from Medina, you probably will stay there a day or two before heading to Mecca for Umrah. Uh, that means you will have to stop at Dhul Hulayfa Mikat. And that's a very long Umrah. So having something like this really calms you down. Also, while you're out in the heat, your heart rate can go up. So you need something that kind of uh, relieves you a little bit. And uh, this is something that's super helpful to have. It just calms you down a little bit. It's made out of, um, it's an orange flavor and it's made out of elderflower, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But the ingredients are right here, as you can see. So you can pause the video and kind of read through the ingredients list if you'd like. So definitely recommend having something like that. Uh, moving on, uh, I recommend to have a very good mask. Don't try to get those cheap ones that like, uh, that are like a 50 pack or 100 pack for like next to nothing. Try to get something good like this. This is an LG mask right here and it's uh, KFDA approved. Um, this is a really good one right here. I definitely recommend this one uh, if you wanted to get something like that. <clears throat> next thing, get a spare phone. Uh, this is a Nokia, it's an Android, I believe. So uh, just good always to have a spare phone. You can actually put a SIM card in here, like a Saudi SIM, and keep your Aitmarna uh, Tawakalna apps on here. So um, it, it'll be a lot easier for you instead of having to use your phone. Uh, because uh, when you're there, most likely, depending on your car carrier, you might have to put in a SIM in your phone. So if you don't want to like lose your number or anything, you can just put it in here. So, so next item is a USB charger. Uh, make sure to get one with a USB. It could be this one or it could be the USB-C, whichever. Uh, try to get as many of these as possible. Don't worry about the power adapter. The reason why I say that is because uh, depending on what hotels you stay in, they all have different power adapters. It's not... From, from my experience, I've never seen like uh, the same power adapters in the same hotels. It's always different. So there's a high chance you're going to have to buy the power adapter from one of the stores, like the local stores by the hotels. So uh, just try to get a USB cable. You can try to bring your own power adapter, but uh, again, high chance that you won't be able to use it. So definitely recommend to get these without a doubt. Uh, next item is an Apple Watch. Uh, Apple Watch is super important, um, and I think any smartwatch for the for that matter is very important because this these things monitor your heart rate, you know, and things like that. Uh, you got into the passcode, but uh, you you want to have something like this because when you're in the high heat and um, uh, you're traveling a lot of distance, you want to make sure that uh, everything is good with you. There's no issues, uh, things like that. You're not overstressing yourself on on your journey, inshallah. Uh, actually, this is another charger here. You can see USB C right here that I have. So. Uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. Next item is a power bank. You want to have a power bank. I actually ended up not getting the power bank at Costco because I, I had this one at home and this one works perfect for me. So you want to have something like this. You can see there's a USB slot here and then there's a uh, USB, was a USB A I think? For me, this is super useful um, to have and I definitely recommend having this because you know the distance from Mecca to Medina or vice versa is about five, five and a half hours by car and same thing with bus and I think it's about two and a half hours or so uh, via the Haramein high speed railway but you want to have something like this so that you don't run out of power on your phone because you, you will need a uh, Aitmarna app for Umrah so you want to have uh, like a power bank. Uh, this item optional but I, I actually really like this item. It's called, here let me turn it around, mask ear protector. I got this from Amazon. But basically you put these things, uh, they roll up around the, the bands that go around your ears for the mask and it makes it super comfortable. Very good if you're uh, wearing a mask for like a long period of time. Uh, you know how like the mask will start hurting your ear behind the ear? This prevents that. So I definitely recommend having this. It uh, helps me greatly. Next item, topi. You want to definitely have a topi with you. Uh, without a doubt, I mean, there, there's so many shops um, over there, so you don't you don't have to get one. But when you when you enter the holy cities of Makkah, Medina, it's always good 
to you know ha have a topi on of course in umrah you cannot wear this so this is this is either before umrah or after umrah that you, you're, you're gonna be wearing this now this last item is actually optional but i highly recommend this and where i recommend it is both in masjid Nabi sharif and uh, in masjid al-haram so you cannot wear this in umrah just to clarify that you, you cannot wear this during umrah because during umrah you can only be in, in the state of ihram once you're done with umrah or before umrah while you're walking around especially during the daytime it's always good to, to wear this this is made out of leather it's like a uh, shoe sock type of thing. I don't know the exact name of it. I can actually, I'll post a link of this. I got it from Amazon. I'll post a link in the description. So just make sure to click that if uh, you're interested in this. But the reason why I say this is it makes your feet hurt a lot less when, when you're walking. You don't feel the effects of the heat hitting against like the tiles of those masjids. So it's super, I, I, I think this is super important. I, I love this thing. It's the best. Okay, so that is all of the essential items covered. So there is a few items I have not gotten a chance to like include in this list. So one of those items is triple antibiotic cream. Uh, super important to have that because if you get a cut or anything or you get hurt, you can just put that cream on and like a band-aid and you should be fine. And of course, number two is band-aids. Make sure to bring a couple of band-aids just in case. There's actually a few other items. I can't think of them on the top of my head, but if I do think of them, I will post them in the comments. But this is a good time right now to stop the video like this video if you have not already liked the video and subscribe to my channel and click all alerts now the reason why i say to click all alerts is because i'm going to be releasing a video with ihram so i'll show you like which ihram to get uh shoes belt everything like that so everything related to that will be in a separate video in the next few days so please click all alerts so that you get the alert of that video right away also if you have any questions or any suggestions for items please drop them in the comments i'll be sure to get back to you asap I do take your suggestions seriously, so if you have any uh, requests for any type of videos, content, please do let me know. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing you guys the other items in just a second. Okay, so these are the other items right here, as you can see. It's kind of a long line of them right here. So I'll go through each one, one by one. So these, these, and these, these three items um, are gifts. So uh, the reason I say gifts is you can... Uh, take these with you. These are individually wrapped, all of them. Just, you know, take them out of the box, put them into your uh, luggage, and uh, you can pass them out to, like, the kids and, you know, just travelers and things like that in uh, Medina and Mecca. So uh, that's the reason why I get this. This is good, you know, it's so up, so a uh, good thing to do. So that's why uh, you can see right here, this is a fruit and nut type of bar. This is another granola bar. And then these are uh, um, popcorn chips. I definitely recommend, I mean, you don't have to get these things, but try to get some in, something that's individually wrapped so it's easy to, to pass out. Next item, but actually before I get to that, I'm gonna go here. So this right here, um, we call this ORS in Pakistan, but I don't know what it's, uh, I don't know what it would be called elsewhere, but uh, it's like a electrolyte solution. So if you can bring some sort of electrolyte solution, like a powder that you can put into like a water bottle, so uh, while you're traveling, um, you can just put it in there and yeah, be uh, refreshed and energized because you are definitely gonna need the electrolytes while you're performing Umrah. So definitely recommend getting something like this, a couple of these. So this right here, this is Bengay. This is a cream, it's a very strong cream when like you're aching anywhere. This kind of goes along with uh, the salon pass thing I was talking about earlier, where you can put on your feet after you perform Umrah because it, they are gonna hurt, that's for sure. So this is another version, this is a cream that you can put, and it's it's very strong, you'll, you'll feel the effects right away. Moving on, so personal products, uh, you wanna get some sort of like shower gel. You cannot use this when you enter the state of Iran. You cannot use any scented products. So uh, this is like before and after Omar right here. Just bring, you know, uh, your shower gels, bring some deodorant, you know, things like that. Uh, cologne, perfume, all those things. But just keep in mind that you cannot use scented products. You cannot even use this. Uh, even though this is like helpful for you, this has some sort of a scent, so you cannot use this either. So no scented products while you're in the state of Iran until after you complete Umrah. So uh, just, you know, a couple pairs of socks I picked up from Costco, uh, a pair of sweatpants. Uh, try to bring as many of these as possible because once you're done with Umrah, <laughs> this is probably going to be your go-to uh, to wear with like a top. Um, I usually wear like a thobe, what we call it juba, but um, a thobe while I'm in Saudi because it's, uh, you know, it's hot and it's white. Um, it's going to be really hot out there, so it's good protection from the heat. And then it's also white, so it reflects sunlight. Uh, you want to try not to wear dark colored shirts because uh, it'll absorb more of the sun's heat and uh, you'll feel more effects of the heat. 
And lastly, uh, you want to bring some sort of a neck, neck pillow. This is good for the plane plus your journey from Makkah to Medina or vice versa. Always good to have this for sure. It's, it's, a, it's definitely a lifesaver. So I actually just have like a thobe here, like right in front of me. This is a custom one that I had made, as you can see. Um, so just something like this. You want, you want to have something with a, like a long sleeve like this. Uh, try to bring as many as you can. Um, like long sleeve. If you don't have like a thobe, just bring long sleeve shirts um, because you're going to need them. And try to make them light colored. So anything that's like not black or like dark blue, purple, anything like that, uh, try to get light colors so that you can bounce off the heat. That's pretty much a good summary of like items that you want to bring for Umrah, what to pack. But yeah, that's basically a lot of the things that you want to bring when you're preparing to pack for Umrah as an international pilgrim. I'm going to be making an, a how to wear an ihram video and it'll have like a list of like other items that you can wear, that you can bring with your ihram, like, you know, belt, clips, things like that. So that's going to be up soon. So again, uh, if you have not subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell icon to um, choose all alerts. But yeah, I really hope this was helpful. One, just a last tip I want to drop is try to bring as much cash as you can so that you can exchange it at the Saraf. There is a Saraf in Medina that's uh, across from uh, Movenpick, Anwar al-Medina. So you go like one or two streets over and you'll see it there. Um, and in Makkah, I think there's one by Makkah Towers, if I'm not mistaken, and in Abraj al -Bait, which is the Makkah Clock Tower. I believe there's one on the second or third floor, if I'm not mistaken. I really hope that these uh, tips were useful for you. Um, if they were, please do like this video and share it with your friends and family. Zakhlaq khair.